Hello everyone, welcome to Manari TV. Wow, well, what is going on? Why is it taking this long? It was never difficult for the order of my children that came out before this one. Why is this one taking so long? My king, please calm down. Everything is okay. I should calm down. Oh no, it is almost night and she is yet to deliver. How can I calm down? Like I said, my king, please calm down. She is not in there all alone. The royal nurses are there with her. Besides, if there is anything wrong, the head nurse would have brought back words to us. I suggest we pray for her successful and healthy delivery too. Something in me, no. Something in me is telling me that we should have taken her to the hospital for this very delivery. And you would have succeeded in making it impossible for that son to ever rule in Amana. Royal sons and daughters must be delivered in the king's abode while the staff of the kings is domiciled. Anything to the contrary will ruin the child's spiritual connection to the ancestors of Amanatha. Your Majesty, I suggest you take some drink to calm yourself down. Not when I am this bothered. How can you be talking about drink in a moment like this or no? My wife has been in there for hours. Nothing is happening and you're talking about drinks. Your Majesty, please calm down. If you're this bothered, what? Then what the lesser beings do? Oh, no. I have been calm all day. It is night already. The sun has set and she is yet to deliver. Can't you understand that everything is not right? Are you hearing that? Yes, your majesty. That's cry of a baby. Even that's cry of a baby. Come on, baby, go. Please. Tell us it is good news after all these long hours. Of course, I bring good news. Your Majesty, elders of Amanato Kingdom, congratulations. It is a boy. Hey! Oh, I'm okay. A boy! A son? Yes, Your Majesty. A boy. A prince. You now have an egg. Oh no, we got it. Oh no. My son is here. It is time. You know what to do. Very well, Your Majesty. The gods have been merciful enough 
to bless me with a son. The last thing I want is to complicate the future of my kingdom. I owe it to him to protect him. He is all I have. And I'm going to give him my all. Gods of our land. You may have to curse me for the action I am taking now. But it is the best for everyone. And for the stability of my kingdom. You don't need to be afraid that much, okay? We'll soon be there. Let's go. But I wonder why the king would want to see me in the middle of the night. And then, a place like this. Mash, you don't need to worry yourself. Have you forgotten that the king tells me almost everything? He also told me how you were screaming the last time. So I, I feel that he wants to have you here where your mourning will not be attracting any attention. Hmm? Just imagine the kind of things you discuss with the king. Please, let's go. But look like a wait. I can't find the king anywhere. Where is he? <gasps> Ah. Ah. Oh, do you have to do this? You have to kill a pregnant woman. The gods will judge you. Ah. Ah. Mashi, I'm very sorry. But I pray that the gods will forgive me for this sin. What sort of dream is this? What sort of dream is this? My friends, why are you running? Are you okay? My friends, my friends, you need to come now. You need to come and stop your father, the king. Stop him from what? What's please, going please. on? There is a very big problem downstairs. You need to come with me right now. Let's go. No, please. Calm down. Wait, you know? You are asking me to calm down? Did I just hear you well? I will calm down? How can you say that? Enough of this, enough. Don't say that again. It is not enough that she has decided to insult my personality. 
by destroying the reputation and the image of this family. That's not enough to you. And you sit before me now to tell me to calm down. What kind of father will calm down in a situation like this? Who is that father? Stop! What's going on, father? Why are you keeping calm? See, you're the person who understands this more than everyone else. Can you please tell your son here what this your useless daughter has done? Can you talk to him? You cannot say anything. Well, this your useless sister here is with a child. Princess Mirabel, is it true? Like you're pregnant? Huh? I love him, father. If you say that again, if you see the way I will slap you, I will forget the fact that you are my daughter and I will slap this, this demon off your head. What do you know about love? No, how can you say that before me? Finally, you decided to fall in love. And of all the men of Amalato, you didn't see any. But a, a useless bricklayer? What an insult. He is not just a bricklayer, father. He's a hard-working builder. I don't just know why you don't love him. I don't love him. I thank God you know that I don't love him and I will never love anybody who has no class. Now, if you were thinking that by giving him yourself to carry his side will make me start loving him, you have another thing in common. Mother. Don't you dare. What were you thinking? Men of repute, class, extreme wealth came asking for your hand in marriage. You turned all of them down. Look at Obina the other day. Prince Obina, your older sister's brother-in-law, came to ask for your hand in marriage. You said no. Only for you to rub off your royalty like this. Did you think about your father? No, but did you think about what he will say? What example are you setting for the people of this community? How could they see us? You even open this your stupid mouth to tell your father you love him? I love him, mother. Oh, shut up. I've told you before to shut your mouth. Is love enough? Is love enough for, to, for you to do this? To bring this insult our way? What were you thinking? I think you've lost your mind. To condescend this law to bring this shame upon us. You even stand before your father and say, I love him. Are you stupid or something? Now, I don't care what people might think. I don't know where he might be as we speak, whether he is sick and on a sick bed. I want him brought here now. Father, you can't just do that. I can. And I have done it already. Listen, I have to set an example with that young man so that nobody in this kingdom will ever, for whatever reason, take this family for granted ever again. But the young man is not the only one at fault. Princess Mirabel took some decision. Are you going to punish her as well? Yeah, let's be about the punish. What are you saying exactly? Do nothing until we hear from all the characters involved. Yes. You can't just sacrifice him based on the altar of ego when he could be your last result. And what do you mean by that? Father, my point is simple. You shouldn't make a hasty decision on this. Because it might impose threat on so many things in the future. Gone are the days when kings can comfortably execute people and nothing happens. We now have a constitution that guarantees a lot of freedom. Because we live in a glass house, we must not throw stones. Mother, 
You are a woman like me. I know you would understand me better than father and brother. Mirabel, there's nothing to understand in this matter. You have inflicted so much pain on your father, the king. And I doubt if he will ever forgive you. Hmm? Mother, that is where I want you to come in. Please help me beg him. You are his wife. He will listen to you. I love him, mother. Can you do me a favor and stop saying that? Is that a song or something? It makes your father angrier. Can you just stop? But mother, that is the truth. I cannot deny him now. Now listen and listen, God. You must do what you have to do. Go to your father and humbly explain everything to him. No matter how angry he is, he's still your father. But don't ever say that. This is your song, keep it to yourself. Because your father, I know, will never understand. I don't know why you're just getting me irritated. I love him, I love him. Are you the only person that has ever loved someone before? Please. In all honesty, there is nothing anyone can do about it now. Yes, he's the king. And from what I gathered, he has sealed the arrest order with the seal of our malady. And there is nothing anyone can do to reverse it. Yes. Please, mother, you have to come with me downstairs. Now, please. Just go. What is it? Father has arrested Okudli and they are flogging him downstairs. He should not be in this pain. Mirabel, this matter is already very complicated. Like I told you earlier, there is nothing anyone can do about it. Mirabel, allow your father to douse his anger. Flogging will not kill Okudli. He will not die. No man dies out of flogging. Mother, you cannot be here without doing anything. You know the kind of a father you have. Trust me, he will come around. Father, what did you do? I did what every responsible king every responsible father should do. And that is take a credible decision for the children. You have a problem with that? Father, I have a big problem with that. That young man now lives in fear and you caused it. Trust me, that would make him give up. Yes. You are Ezor Fiona Sonkata, a great king, a wise king. You should know better. You should live by example. You should live by your name. That is the more reason that young man is supposed to know that there is nothing that will ever make it possible for a daughter of mine to end up with a papa like him. Father, there is nothing you can do about this. She has already made her decision and she's pregnant with this child. Father, these are delicate moments. You should know when to stop. You sound so weak. For the prince. Is this how you are going to rule when I am gone? Father, I will rule having the interest of my people and this kingdom of heart, especially my father. I will never jeopardize the interest of this kingdom at the expense of my anger. You are a wise king, Father. You should know what to do. What are you going to do? You are going to lecture me now? But I'm not lecturing you. I'm sorry if my voice conveys the wrong message. But my point is, are we going to disown our own because of her choice? She might be my elder sister, fine and good, but she's still a baby at heart. 
Let's respect her decision and support her. We cannot disown her because of her choice. You find the man unworthy. To her, he's the best man in the world. No, 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 no. So finally, she decides to test love for the very first time. And the only person she remembers is a papa, and you're supporting her? A woman in love is like a blind woman. Yes. To Ross, he's unworthy, he's a pauper. To her, her heart lies with him. Father, let us support our own. Please. Well, I need you to go back to that your sister and educate her on what being a member of royal family means. Royal members do not appeal to the sense of emotions. We don't appeal to the whims of emotions. Everybody who is a member of the royal family should be able to understand that royalty requires a lot of expectations and a lot of sacrifices. Father, you are right. I know we are royalty. And royalty demands a lot. We live for people. But at the same time, love is something we can't control. It's a matter of heart. You find that man unworthy. Reasons best known to you. But it's her decision. You can't kill her or certainly kill the love of her life because you find the man on board. No. Let's give them a chance. Let's respect her decision. Please. Father, like I said, you are a great king. I know you must find a way or better ideas to settle with me so that it won't get out of hand or better still ruin my sister's reputation. Please. I have a lot coming into my head. But my only problem right now is that I do not have the funds to follow up on my plans. I don't. And if any of those plans is leaving a manato for the city, then I suggest you have a rethink. The police people are killing innocent men and women. And the authorities are saying nothing about it. Please, so it's better we stay in the village. Wonders shall never cease. Did you see that girl? If I had been told that she's related to Ugebu, I would not believe it. Me too, Muka. Me Hi. too. Did you, did you see how she was looking? Do you so tattered and so unkept. Like someone who has been in the palace dungeon since the beginning of time. Ah. But I don't get it. Why does Onowu's wife treat her so badly? Is she not her sister's child again? If you ask me, who do I ask? My sister. Everyone in this village sees it. Where on board Jadika Maji? She's just behaving like a passenger of life, like a sojourner looking for treasure and doesn't want to be seen. Do you blame her? Do you blame her? If you're treated half as much as she's been treated, you will feel pretty much the same. But I wonder what the Onowu is doing about her ill treatment. I just wonder what you want him to do. He's the man of the house. So what do you want him to do? To do exactly what a man in position of authority should do. 
remind me exactly why I am here discussing someone else's family issues with you. Exactly, my sister. We are finished with Uno. Let's touch other parts in this village. You will stay and touch those parts alone. Mm, this affair is our village. We need to touch it. You will touch it in my village. the song to set when she steps out. Oh my goodness. Look at one. Mother. Only do. Mother. One of you make your thing come to back. <laughs> Ugo, why? Mother. So beautiful. Hey. You are beautiful. Thank you, mother. <gasps> mother, you will make me have goosebumps. That is not my intention. Mm. When I look at you. I mean, look at you. <laughs> you are the peace setter. Mm. In this kingdom, Thank you. no one born of a woman has ever looked this beautiful, <laughs> this gorgeous. Oh, oh, put it so back! Put it back! <laughs> <laughs> uh -huh. No one has ever looked this beautiful, oh. this gorgeous, oh. this attractive, oh, this beautiful. <laughs> Mother, but truthfully. <laughs> I have you to thank for it. Oh, no, 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 no. no. You are the most beautiful woman that I know. Mm -mm. Do not flatter your mother. I am not. Yes, you are. Oh, look at that. <laughs> you know, when God made you, oh. it was on a special day. Oh, my goodness. He sculptured and molded you Ooh. with a different kind of sand, oh, with a different intention. Oh. oh, God was faithful the day he gave me. Yeah. Oh, God was faithful, they gave you to me. I said, this isn't enough. Oh, thank you. Please give me that smile again. <gasps> Nesiana Dimpo. <laughs> oh, mother, oh. Easy, mother, easy, easy. Give me the mirror. Give me the mirror. Let me ask the mirror of question. Oh, oh, mirror, mirror. Who is the most beautiful? Adi Adju Adju. Hi! Adi Adju Adju. Adi Adju Adju. Adi Adju. Oh, uh, now, now, you listen. <laughs> For looking after my daughter and ensuring that she always looks beautiful, <laughs> God will give you a good husband that would appreciate you. He said, oh, My darling, mother, this one you're looking so beautiful getting ready. Mm. I guess you're going to see your man, the prince. Of course, mother. Mm. No one else but him. Oh, oh. Oh, um, all right. I'm going to get something really nice ready for your future mother-in-law. Um, mother, is that even necessary? Oh, it is. Don't worry, it's not going to be heavy. Okay. I need you to find your way into her heart. Huh? Mm-hmm. Ah. Oh, oh. Oh. <laughs> mother, I love you. I love you more. <laughs> And not to worry, it's not going to be heavy. Okay. Besides, you have a maid. Oh! And as for that stupid girl, mm. she's not even back from fetching water from the community mm. bottle. Mother. Yes. I totally forgot that I have a maid. Mm -hmm. Did you? For that girl? Mm -hmm. Mm -mm. She's not coming an inch close to the king. No, you... Not even to the king or the prince, mother. Smart girl. Because you, you know the history of her mother, your sister. <laughs> What's that saying again? Snakes beget snakes. I want more, I want. Yes, mother. Mm -hmm. So I don't want her to come close to my future husband. Never. Smart. Yes, mother. Not only are you beautiful, you are intelligent, <laughs> mother. 
I have to run along. Okay, mother. Now continue and make sure she looks the best. Oh, oh mother. Oh. Mother, do you know I love you? Oh, baby girl. Mm -hmm. I love, love you. you. <laughs> Let me go and put the okay, things together. <laughs> I love Another you, mother. <laughs> mother, I love you. You sure have a good mother. Oh, I do. You always go up. Yes. And I love my mother. Please, please pack the hair. I want to be quick about it. Beautiful. Oh, I know. <laughs> I see you girls went to fetch water. Yes. No, we went to dance for the Queen of the Coast. What is your problem? Okay, I need to go in. <laughs> Let's go. Try. Yes. Yes. Was that sarcasm? Must you show her you don't like her? Is that why you dragged me like this? Wait, 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 wait. Is that why you dragged me this way? That girl is a spoilt class opportunist. And why are you always so friendly with her? Why? Adego, why shouldn't I be? That girl is going to become the future queen. If she marries the prince, make a future purpose. And who told you she's going to end up with the prince? Who? She's betrothed to him. So she's going to marry him, no doubt. That automatically makes her the future queen. Like I said before, that girl is an opportunist, taking advantage of the fact that her father is the Onuru of this kingdom. Wait, let me ask you. Do you think she would have been chosen to be the future queen if not for her father? Do you? You are just jealous. You are jealous. Me. Mm -mm. Jealous. Me, Adego. See, let me tell you. I have better and greater people to be jealous of and not her. <laughs> and why am I even standing here discussing about a fool with you? <laughs> jealousy is a sickness. Treat it. Treat it. Tell us to fire your mouth. I will be the queen's best friend. Keep fooling yourself. I should use because of you that your fa father doesn't even have a shot. Okay? I use Oh, Prince Obi Echina. Nya Obi Aechina Techi and Obi Ayadada. Nya Obi Adada, the Prince of our land. Dike. My Prince, please, can I say something? I have never stopped you from in your mind. Go ahead. My prince, we've been walking around all day with no destination. Hmm? How did you, you know we would cover this land? We would have come with our car. What's going on? Is there something you want to tell me? I don't need a car. My mind is filled up. I need to walk around to East Tension. To East Tension? Uh, is it about the happenings in the palace? Uh, uh, but that wasn't your doom. And there is nothing you can do about it. Honestly. My father, the king, is pushing my sister to the wall. Because he wants to frustrate that young man. 
my sister might end up hating the king forever. Uh, she will not. I, she loves the king. Your sister loves your father. All that will evaporate when the king kills the love of her life. Remember, she is carrying his child. Of all men. Greetings, my friend. Greetings. Of all men, she chose that one. My prince, you, you just sound like your father. I am not trying to be selfish here. I'm worried about my sister. And I don't trust Okudele. My major concern is my sister's happiness. My prince, are you scared of Okudele? That he cannot give your sister the kind of life that she deserves? My prince, don't forget that Okudele is a very hard-working man and the only son in his family. He is the one taking all the responsibilities in their house. M my prince, I, I plead, you, you should give him a benefit of doubt. He can make a, a very good husband to your sister. Believe me. Why are you sounding like someone that has been bought? Hmm? I'm, I'm just saying my mind. Hmm. Your Majesty, hmm? this will look perfect on you. It will look amazing. But it will have to appear okay, inside. Look okay, at the oh, both? Yes, yes, the both. Okay, the both will be nice. Mm -hmm. you, you want me to have it? Mm -hmm. Oh, Your Majesty, you spoil me too much. You have already given me more than I can have. Your mother told him not to be here. So I should spoil you. No. I should take proper and good care of you. Thank you, Your Majesty. I mean, this is really beautiful. Your Majesty. Yes. Is everything okay? Everything is fine. Are you sure? Yes, just that I have a lot of I have a lot of mine already. What is it? No, nothing. Just that Eze hasn't come home. He doesn't stay this long to come back. And I got that he didn't go with his car. Your Majesty, I walked down here. You know, sometimes this long walk is really necessary. It's okay. That shows both of you are meant for each other. Your Majesty, I mean, you say the nicest of things to me. Thank you so much. But I want you to know that everything is going to be fine. No matter how long he stays out, he will still come back. Okay? I know. I know he will come back. <sighs> Your Majesty, the more you try to hide these things, I know there is something going on you do not want to tell me. What is it? <clears throat> not, nothing. Let me ask him to bring oh, you Your something. Majesty, no! I am not hungry. It's okay. Your, your Majesty, is the princess around? Can, can I see her? At least she will be the best person to tell me what is really going on. The princess is not in the palace. But trust me, everything will be fine. You know I do not talk without facts. I am telling you what my mother told me. She said she was there when the guards came and hauled Okudeli and dragged him off like a common criminal. Ijoma, you exaggerate things. The people working for the king must at least respect a man who is eaten. They shouldn't disrespect the spirit of Ieji by assaulting a man who is eaten. Forget about those spirits. Many people no longer respect them. And that is why we have so many problems today. Ijoma, go to all the junctions. I bet you won't be able to count how many obituary posters of young men and women <clears throat> dying in their thirty and forties. Well, can we please leave obituaries and consign ourselves with the one we can handle? Which is... 
Ah, uh, normal gossip, of course. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. It was reported that they met him while he was eating and slapped him and got him arrested. You drama, were you there? We are you? You don't even know why he was dragged at the first place. Well, I know. I heard Princess Mirabel or Uzomili mm -hmm. or whatever she is called has been looking around him for a while now. And if I know the king very well from what I've heard about him, he's not very pleased with such a peasant having his daughter's attention. Ugoma, you're not saying anything. Yeah. <laughs> Ijoma is making a wild allegation here. Hmm. Amanda, it is no allegation. Oh. Ijoma is right. I have actually seen them together. Once or twice. Uh, he simply doesn't sum it all up. I mean, you all know how breathtaking and friendly our princess is. Unlike those her sisters. She's so nice. I wouldn't blame Opu Dede for falling for her. Yes. Mm -hmm. Well, we have to wait to know what exactly he did to her and such treatments. <laughs> that is, if the royal family will deem it important to tell you. It is strange we've abandoned the original topic that brought us here. Exactly, oh, you cool. You drama and gossip. Please, let's talk about this. Like, you might enjoy the gossip. Enjoy which gossip? <laughs> you, your gossip. You enjoyed <laughs> it. Never. Pacing all over the place like you've seen a ghost. What is it? Mother, is everything all right at the palace? Why do you ask? I am not comfortable with the way things played out today. It was cold. Unlike before. How? Mother, I do not know. The queen who started well suddenly changed. Then the princess is nowhere to be seen. Mother, it's as if there is something happening in that palace no one knows of. Oh, oh. You might be right, you know. Because Okudili's parents were here to look for your father today. Why? I think Okudili was arrested by the king. What did he do? I wouldn't know. Maybe when your father comes back, he'll be able to explain better. Hmm. Mother. Mother. Mm. Mommy, I'm hungry. <laughs> Initially, you didn't want to talk. Mm. Now you're ready to talk of all things food. <laughs> <laughs> okay, no problem. Okay. I'll get that stupid girl to get you something to eat. Very stupid girl, honestly. Mm. Let me call her. Stupid. Amara! Amara, stupid girl! If you hear that, sir. She will never answer. I'm going to give her a test. I'm going to give her a knock. I'm allowed to go. Is she okay? I bet you know. Your Majesty, I am Maxim because I am the owner of this kingdom. I wouldn't be here if his parents didn't come to my place. Oh, just hold on. Oh, no. Are you ever thinking that I would issue an order for the young man to be arrested when he has done nothing? Never, my king. I can't think such of you. He is your subject. And I am his own. Um, what exactly was his offense? You know, we see, one thing that I must never take is fools. Capitalizing on my leniency to insult my family. I can take all things, but there is no way I will ever take insult. Any form of insult on my family. Okudili, 
insulted the royal household. That is unacceptable. My king, what did he say? Listen, no, no. The royal court will sit soon on that subject. You will be there. What I expect you to do is to talk to the father of the young man to be there as well. I was informed that you have been here. Yes, my prince. Thank you. And I also heard you were the one that made it possible. I will forever appreciate you. It's nothing. The charms buried here are for different purposes. So on no account should you attempt running away. Because if you do, trust me, you will end up dead and I will be able to get to that. I knew about this place a long time ago and I will not attempt to leave without the king's permission. Good. I will come and see you if I retire. How wish she? Which version do you seek? The truth. My prince. Do you think she's alright, considering her condition? Believe me, my prince. I never wanted to do this to her. I mean, claim her without going through the customs and traditions of the land. But I don't regret it. I love her and I don't regret making her my woman. You love her fine and good, but that's not enough reason to get her pregnant without paying the right price. Have you forgotten she's way out? My father feels he was shame for this We we wanted to tell him. I wanted to tell him, but he is so inapproachable, and he will never let me have her. Even at that, that's not enough reason for you to do what you do. Do you know that this will tarnish her image if the whole kingdom finds out the truth? They will not have her. Have you ever been in love? Have you ever, have you ever, have you ever cherished something? Especially someone you, you don't, you can't even dare to lay your hands on. Well, you thought that's much. I've never been in such condition before. But having said that, um, I hope, I just hope my father finds his way. This is really, really confusing. Yes. I mean, why would the king not tell you why he arrested that innocent, hard-working young man? I believe he must have committed a crime for the king to issue an order for his arrest. I don't think so. I didn't. Obviously, our king is not a bully, if that is what you want to say. Oh, well, I, I actually have my own belief, and I stand by it any day. Mother, that can't be. I mean, we do not have a tyrant for a king, mm -hmm. so he can't be. My darling, you are entitled to your own belief. I have mine. Listen to me. Do not go about spreading rumors of what you are not sure of. So, what do I tell my kid when she comes? I will answer all her questions when she comes. See then, don't get yourself involved in this matter. Let this matter lie. But, but no, but I don't want to repeat myself. Man proposed, but God disposes. 
Most people misunderstand God's blessings. It's not by appearance, I feel it's by merit. Kimanka, imagine cause who just blesses his Why are you asleep? I have been thinking too much lately. Sleep is nowhere to be found. Sit. You know, a man whose house is on fire does not chase after rats. Like you rightly said, equally I have not been sleeping because I have been thinking a lot lately. And I feel that I have, uh, I have found a way to solve this problem once and for all. What did you decide on? Obviously, in the next four market days, there will be a celebration of union between the royal family and the Mengene family. Father, can I say something? No, no, no. You don't need to say anything. I don't know whether it is right or whether it is wrong, but this is what I have decided as king, as a way to solve this problem. And most importantly, as a way to redeem your sister's honor. Her honor or her happiness? Well, I'm not doing anything for her happiness. I am more concerned with the image of the royal family that she has decided to dent. And we must do everything within our powers to redeem that image. She is getting married and uh, it must happen in the next four market days. And as the prince in this palace, I want you to key into this royal decision. any celebration, no fun fair, nothing. All because she got pregnant in the palace. Is this why you followed me up? Woman, why are you doing everything humanly possible to remind me of an unfortunate incident I've already forgotten? Why? I remind you because I am angry. Why are you angry? This same daughter you laid off all in the guise of marriage has been delivered of a bouncing baby boy. And the husband shot everyone with the kind of expensive naming ceremony he organized. So, so why are we discussing this? A man's wife got delivered of a baby boy and in celebration he decides to organize an expensive naming ceremony for his son. How is that my business? I had expected you to be in attendance. Like everyone else expected you to go there. I need to show them you are no longer angry. Well, I was not there, but my son was. And you should know that the son of a king is equally a king. And there is one thing I need to say right here. I need to correct that impression. I am no longer angry with Mirabel. She's married and she has moved on with her life. 
I have wished them success and they will have it. Now I want you to understand that I am a king and you must have to allow me to live the life of the king. Please. Kings are humans as well. I am a different kind of king. What I'm about to tell you is a secret. So I want you to keep it confidential. Yes, my prince. I am no longer interested in the maiden my father chose for me. Uh, yeah? My prince, how can, how can you say that you are no longer interested in the maiden that your father chose for you? Can't you understand this simple English without asking a stupid question? My prince, I, I am asking the question because I am confused. Remember, you have been betrothed to this median ever since you were a little boy. I have been betrothed to that median even since I was a boy, fine and good. But that's not enough reason for me to marry someone. I don't even have feelings. Do you understand? But my prince, you, you know your father will not be happy with you. With this your decision. And I don't even know how to tell your father this. Who asked you to tell him? Did I ask you to tell my father? I'm sorry, my prince. I said it's confidential. I'm, I'm so sorry, my prince. Listen, I'm telling you this because I see you as my friend and I trust you. Remember, it's confidential. Do you understand? Yes, my prince. M my, my prince, please, I need to know what happened. Hmm? At least you must have a reason for saying that you no longer go ahead with the marriage right that Ezemo is already aware of. Listen, I'm the one getting married, not the Ezemo. I don't even know what the Ezemo is doing in this picture. On a normal ground, Ezemo is not to be aware that I want to be married. My, my, my prince, are you sure you're okay? I, I, I don't believe you you, 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 you are the person talking talk, talk this. I'm fine. I'm fine. Oh, 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 my prince, wait, wait, wait. Oh. Let me guess. Have you gotten another person? No, I'm not seeing anyone else. And I'm done with this conversation. Leave. Okay, my prince. Remember, it's confidential. Yes, my prince. Permission to bless. Oh, 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 your Majesty, the King, request for your presence in the main living room. Prince Yobiachina, can you hear me? Obiachina, 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 Nya, obia dada. Iha. Can you hear me? My prince. Iha. Prince obia china. Iha. Obia dada. Where, where, where did he go? Mm. The prince.
prince is not inside. My prince! Yeah. Okay. Wait now. Ah, I'm very hungry. I'm very hungry. Let me scout inside the forest and find what to eat. You are, how dare you say such to me? I should be asking you that. Who do you think you are? Do you want to dare your chi, isn't it? Why are you talking to me like that? Are you aware of what I can do to you here? Yeah? Why is it so hard for you to answer little questions? I said, who do you think you are to want to fall off this cliff? You want to put the whole community into your body, right? Who are you? The girl that just saved your life. Take your chi that I was just wandering around this forest if I found you here. If not, you would have been a dead man. Can you at least step down, go, or should I lead you? Don't worry. I can find my way out. There is no way I'm leaving you here. I'll follow you. Move now. Out. You can't possibly be walking here alone. Where are others? Others? I don't understand what you mean by others. I mean your siblings, your brothers, your partners. Don't tell me you walk here all alone. It's dangerous. I'm a different kind of girl. I do not need protections. I can take care of myself. <laughs> I walk here alone every day. That means your father must be a warrior for you to be walking here all by yourself. Am I right? Forgive my manners, your confidence is top notch. That's why I'm asking questions that I'm not supposed to ask. I'm sorry. Okay. Come with me. Okay. 
Come on, me. Let's dig. Dig. <coughs> I guess you dig. You know. Yeah? I can't just listen. Okay. Listen. Don't tell me you don't know how to dig. Like you don't know what it means. <laughs> Oh, can only mean two things. One is you're a noble, and nobles, aside from chasing women up around the village, playing good music, and drinking best of wines, they do not know how to do these things because they have slaves who do it for them. Or your royalty. Yes, because they have servants who do this, come to the quarry, do this, sell, bring money for them to friend. So which of the two do you fall into? Well, your assumptions are brilliant, but trust me, I don't belong to any of the two. Obviously, because none of these two categories will want to kill yourself like you tried to do with it. You misinterpreted what you saw. I was not trying to take my life. But let's forget about all this. Tell me more about yourself. Why are you working here? Why did you choose to do this kind of job? Don't you have siblings? Don't you have parents? Tell me what I need to know. I guess this is where we talk to you. Please. Quite unfortunate. Is it? Yes. Once again, thanks for what you did today. Though I was not trying to commit suicide, like you deemed. But nevertheless, thank you very much. I appreciate it. Okay. Um, do I need to walk you to your house? At no, 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 no. Don't worry. That won't be necessary. Like I said, you misinterpreted the situation. It's not like I was trying to commit suicide. No. But I won't blame you for that. Thank you very much. It's okay. You're welcome. Yeah. Um, just in case you feel like showing your manly energy, you should know where to find me. Of course. Okay. Bye for now. Thank you very much. Mean, but you don't know where he is. Okandi, he is your prince, and you are his guard. Your eye must be on him 247 because his security is your priority. And you stand before me to tell me you don't know where he is. I, I have been looking for him everywhere, my king. He is nowhere to be found. He is nowhere to be found. Oh no, what does that mean? You mean he left this palace and nobody saw him? Is that what you are saying? Your Majesty, it has boiled down to what I have been saying. These things you call guards are incompetent, especially this one guard. Y your, your Majesty. Hey, will you just shut up? Shut up and step out and go and look for my son. And let me tell you something, you must find him. And you must bring him back here, safe and sound. Yes, Your Majesty. You heard Prince Obiachina. Nyan Obil Ayechina Te. Will you just shut up? Where in the world are you coming from? Where did you go? This Tenu Kadi was sent to your chambers to go and fetch you by your father. Only to get there, you were not there. Where did you go? I was worried sick that he might have fallen into the hands of the enemy. Relax, mom. I just stepped out. You just stepped out? Uh-huh. Without your guards? 
Would that even occur your personal guard? What were you thinking? Mother, I am a full grown man. I can take good care of myself. Now, now, I want you to understand something. Stop trying to believe you can live like a commoner. Obviously, you are not a commoner. You are the heir to the throne of Amanato, and your protection is of priority. Father. Hey, don't, don't, don't tell me that. Stop trying to impress people by believing you can live like a commoner. You can live in any kind of life you, 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 you want. Is this necessary? No, let's be realistic here. Is this necessary? I just stepped out and you people are shouting as if I did something wrong. Is it necessary? So, hey, okay, this thing is not necessary. Listen to me. That's my king. On no account, from now moving forward, must you lose sight of this young man that is standing here? Else, yes, my king. Father, you can't threaten him like that. No, 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 no. What I just said is not a threat. I am not threatening him. I just gave an order which must be followed. Yes. You, you, your Majesty. I can understand your fear. Possibly one of those dreams that instill fear in you. Forget about that. Okay? Can we still send for the chief priest? That is not necessary. Our son is okay. There is nothing wrong with him. And I want you to leave it at that. Okay. Prince Obiechina. Why is the king agitated and why is my mother also worried? What happened? Prince Obiechina. Obig Ayechina Techi. And Obig Ayadanatada. Nya Obiadada. Okade. Yes, my prince. Please, if I may ask, where were you? I mean, where did you go? Excuse me. My prince, I am the one who is qualified to ask you the question. My prince, where did you go? Well, Okadi, if you must know, I went for sightseeing. I, I needed fresh air. I needed to clear my head. And it was fun because I met a new friend. A new friend? Uh, who? I said a new friend. Who is he? A she. <laughs> she? My prince, you mean Ugebwe? I said a new friend. Why are you calling old names? He my prince, if you were not with her, who then were you with? You don't want to talk. You don't want to tell me where you're coming from. You talk about where you're back. Eh? So where are you coming from? Uh, I'm coming from the quarry. <laughs> So you, you can look me in the face and lie. You're coming from the quarry. You know, look at me. Do I look like a fool to you? You don't need to see the room no more. Look at me from head to toe. Look at me. Look at me from head to toe. Do I look like a fool? And don't look at me fast. Look at me slowly. Good. Do I look like a fool to you? So where exactly are you coming from? Don't shut up. I'm even talking. You're talking back. So now you walk with You don't want to get to full stop. You start talking. Where are you coming from? Will there ever be a day in this house that we will not force my neighbors to hear noises from this compound? Uh, uh, what are you saying? In other words, I'm the cause of your problems. I'm the cause of your troubles, okay? Oh, so no, 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 Ask this girl where she's what coming from. What is it? What did she do this time? Ask her where she's coming from. This girl is so <laughs> sorry. 
She now moves around with men. Ooh. Not just moving around. She meets them in secret and strange places. If she had been following them on the normal road, I wouldn't have bothered. My nose was a family, I'm here, I'm here, I'm here, I'm here. Is it true? No, Papa, I swear, I saw my mother. Okay, shut up! No, she, man. So, you would rather listen to this girl than listen to me? More Bumunyaki? Over this liar? Eh? Um, Amala Chukum. Papa. I don't understand. You have not done anything in the sense you've not sold your honor to any man or you have not done anything with a man. Uh, uh, Asana, uh, Baba, I swear, I, I, I was at the quarry. I did not go anywhere. Ah, uh, see? Uh, no, no, it's to say I won't. You are a great liar. Uh, I went to the quarry uh, to look for you. I looked everywhere for her. On top of the tree, under the tree, beside the tree, I was screaming her name. People helped me to call her name. Amara, 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 now I'm sorry. And I wonder, Mom, because there's some worry. Hey, Zalom, you have not said where you went to. I'm not I saw my mother's grave. I didn't even go to anywhere. Your mother is dead and gone. No swearing on her grave will bring her out. And I swear, oh, 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 oh. Uh, that's enough for today. Uh, that's okay. You may go in. I'll take it, take it off from there. No, 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 wait. This is what you do all the time that really pisses me off. Hey, let me see you will take it from, from there. You will take it from there. Meaning what? Anyway, that is a story for another day. Made in car, be there with you. Manifole, you see you. Let me tell you something. You see this case? It is not over yet until it's over. <laughs> if we tell you, oh yeah, we'll turn our way. In a bed, in a bed, we'll go down to Stop saying you stop to my husband. My husband. Or be on wood, you know, let that. Ne, 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 romance. Abegeli, what is wrong with you? Tell me, what is wrong with you? I just want to hear from you exactly what is the problem. What has Amayati ever done to deserve this treatment? I don't understand what you're saying. Are you saying I intentionally punish her or what? Mbakenkine. Abiyagali, I am the owner of a monitor, remember? Mm -hmm. There are questions you don't ask me. <laughs> so you're looking at me that lowly. There are questions I don't ask you. Remember, I am your wife. And she is your niece, so, your late sister's only child. Oh, an illegitimate child. Do you understand what I'm saying? Illegitimate. A child that brought so much dishonor to the family. You were the one that insisted she comes here to live with us. And you think I am wrong to bring her in? I did what I did because you're supposed to be the best person to take care of, of her. Mm. To give her the love and care she deserves. Love and care indeed. What love and care are you talking about? For your information. She deserves every scorn and pain murdered out to her. She is an illegitimate child and she needs to pay the price for it. She didn't ask to be born that way, obviously. Okay. Well, it's a pity her mother is no more. Maybe then would have been able to chastise her for what she did. As for that stupid girl, I do not care. She will pay. I, you know, every time I see her, I just cringe. She makes me remember what my sister went through and the way that stupid man turned his back on her. Listen, you see this girl? She deserves more than she's getting. I'm out of here. I'm out of here. Sometimes I wonder if this is the same Obiageri I married. You're still here? No, no. Come on, we can get busy. I'm off here. 
crying, crocodile tears. I'm on break out now, can't you see your group? Are you okay? Just give me water. It was a dream. Are you alright? I am fine. I'll be alright. I'm okay. Are you sure, my queen? Yes. Should I send for the king? No, there's no need for that. If there is another thing I need, I'll send for you. Thank you very much. No, tell your majesty. Take it. Your Majesty, I saw his remains. He was lying so lifeless. Your Majesty, I don't want us to take this lying low. I don't want us to be silent on this. That woman, I'm going to break this thing down. Fear is a monster. A monster that has the capacity to become permanent if you give it a space. I want you to quit the fear. Resist this dream that instills this level of fear in you. Before it gains ground. Okay? Let's not treat this with levity. Let's not treat it lightly. There's never been a time in this kingdom where a dream of death is taken lightly. I'm talking about your son. Our own son. Lord, Lord, that thing you saw in your dream was not our son. You saw a mirage. Never our son. Our son is an energetic young man of this kingdom who is destined to live a fulfilled life. And then he's going to die majestically when the time comes. I want you to understand that that is our son. Instead of you to be thinking about all these things, can't you just concentrate and think about your son that is getting married? Spend time with the future queen of Amanato. That should be what you are doing. Not thinking of one useless dream where somebody died. Your majesty, I am not saying we shouldn't do all that. But it doesn't stop us from bringing a seer. At least from Aguleri or Enugoku. Yeah. Let us find out what is going on. The same way my father warned me never ever to inquire of the sex of a child before that child is born. It's the same way he warned me never to sit with any seer at all to find out what the future holds. Whether the seer is from Aguleri, from Enugoku, or from anywhere. I must not inquire on what the future holds. Your Majesty, we are not inquiring about what the future holds. We are inquiring about what is going on with our son. What is... what is going on with our son is that he is about to become married to a beautiful maiden of our land who happens to be the daughter of the Ono. I want you 
to be thinking of that marriage and not thinking about anybody that is going to be dropping dead, please. Your Majesty! This meeting has ended and in your overall interest, I wouldn't want you to say anything again. Mother, I went to your chambers to see you, but your chief man told me you went to see Father. You don't look right. What is it? Nothing, I am fine. Come on, Mom, I know when you're fine. What is the problem? Obi. My son. I want you to make me a promise. Promise me you'll be safe. Promise me you'll be all right. Promise me no matter what happens, you'll be safe for me. Mother, why are you sounding this way? You know I love you very much. You're my pride. You're my life. In fact, you're the reason I am still in this community. Mom, you're making me uncomfortable. You, 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 you're scaring me. Why are you sounding this way? What is the problem? Obi, if anything happens to you, I will die. I cannot stand it. I can't survive it. Just promise me you'll be safe. All right, I will be safe. You have not promised yet. I promise I will be safe. Good. <laughs> See, please, I beg you. Don't scare me the way you did the last time. It will never happen again. Thank you. You're welcome. Let me see the meeting. Obiechina Obil Ayechina Techi and Obil Ayada Natada. Okadi is here to see you, my friends. My friends. My friends.
Ukadi. Where did you come out from? Uh, my prince, where are you sneaking off to? Ukadi, I am not sneaking. Who told you I'm sneaking? Uh, but why are you dressed like this? Why are you not in your ro royal robes? How did you get to this place and why are you interrogating me? My prince, maybe you should stop trying to double cross me. I am different. That is why the king uh, trust me. I know my father bestowed so much power on you, but that's not enough reason to be sneaking up on you. Uh, but my prince, I am mandated to be anywhere you are, just to make my work easy. If you must follow me, you have to change. Someone has volunteered to do your job, so you can go somewhere private. Uh, my, my no, 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 my name Don't tell me you are a weakling that you always back off at the site of work. We discussed about this, have you forgotten? This is the job I told you about. Don't worry, it's very really important if you can do it. You're making your friend walk outside his wish, and you know that's not fair. You call him my friend, so let me handle him. Why are you here again? I'm here because I want to know you more. Know me more. My name is Amara, a young girl trying to survive. I told you that before, what more do you want? Have you heard about anything called the caste system? Wait, what? Excuse me, do, do, do you think I am an outcast? Is that what you think of me? Oh, that's your impression about me, right? No, 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 far from that. If that's my impression, I can't come looking for you. I just wanted to know if you are aware of the caste system. It's not like that's my impression about you. No, 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 The first time I saw him, I thought he wanted to take his life. So I summoned courage and spoke to him. <laughs> he denied that he didn't want to take his life. And he has been coming to your quarry since then? Oh, um, yes, I think he likes the way I spoke to him the first day. Wow. Forget that, my dear. He has been coming with his friend already. 
You have to be very, very careful. He came back to psych you up now. To psych me up? Yes, no. Did I mention anything like that? Oh, Amara. Unako, I did not say he came to psych me up, Biko. I said he came with his friend to help me out. Philly. Look, I'm just trying to open your eyes to the reality of what he's trying to play out. That guy is a rapist. And he came with a friend in order for him to be able to map out all his plans. May the you gods forbid. Unako, please. Your mind is always filled with bad thoughts. I only said he came to help me. And, and now you're calling rape, rape, rape. Please. The man that has been coming is a decent man. He's not a rapist. He doesn't even look like one. So hold this your gist, Biko. See, I don't have any evil intentions towards you. If you would listen to my advice, you have to stop going to that quarry. Look, rapists are not known by their looks. Amara, that one that is coming with his friend already, you have to shine your eyes and be very careful. Okay? Father, I don't get this. How can you fix my marriage date with how, when? Well, the date is 15th of next month. And I want you to understand that that appointment is already sealed with the royal seal of Abanato. Father, you can't do this to me. You can't just do this to me. How could you fix my wedding date without my consent? You will eventually get married. Why, Why would you have a problem with that? Father, I don't understand. The last time we spoke, you told me you were discussing it with the SMO. And I was wondering what is the most business with another man's marriage. Now you fixed my marriage date without my permission. What permission are you talking about, young man? I am the king of Amanato and I'm your father. Father, no one is disputing that fact. You are the king and my father. But that's not enough reason for you to fix my marriage without my consent. It's wrong. Well, I need you to understand that I've already made a decision on this. And the one thing you must not do, Obieshna, is to quit something. I'm the one getting married, so you people shall allow me to do my thing my way. I will not. I'm fine. It's nothing. No, I don't believe you. Your face doesn't look it. Like someone that is getting married, your face should look excited, happy. Instead, you're looking as if you're coming from a battlefield. Yes, and that's because I'm not happy. I am not happy. Who does that? How could father do this to me? This is wrong. It's not right in any way. What did he do? Father fixed my marriage date without my consent. I left this palace only for me to return and hear that my marriage has been fixed without my consent. Who does that? Come on. It happened long ago. It happened here already. What is wrong with that? That girl is... No, 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 no. Don't go the Asanam. She is not. She cannot and she will never be. Mother Asanam. Mother Sanam, how can you fix my marriage date without my consent? Excuse me, please. Huh? What is wrong with him? What has come over him? Yes, my baby. You look like a queen already. <laughs> Where is that stupid girl? Oh, don't not to worry. Let me bring her out. Okay. Amara. Amara. What kept you? Uh, ah, please, please. I don't want huh. to listen to your stupid, useless excuses. Now move. You're, you're... Move it! Mother, I want you to watch me. Like a queen. Like a queen. That you're going to be soon. Oh, mother. Ah. Mother. Ah. Mother. Ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> like a queen. Yes, mother. Uh-huh. 
Go on. That's hey. it. Uh-huh. Hey. Uh-huh. Hey. Uh-huh. Hey. Uh-huh. Hey. Uh, you know what? Come on, that's let me work like a Okay, please, mother. Let's work together. Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. 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 Mother. Yeah? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Hey. Hey. Oh, slowly. Yeah, okay, okay slowly. Uh -huh. My leg seems to be going. Mother, why are you going <laughs> one side? No. You don't have to. <laughs> Watch me, I need to watch me. I'm watching. Ah, ah, slowly. You know, oh. you have to put your shoulders up. Oh, the shoulders up. Yeah, Mama. Back out. Yes, Mama. Oh, slowly. Mama, you're still going one side. Oh, ah. Mama, that's not the way. One thing I don't do is to accept what I do not like. The meeting of the maidens will hold again very soon. And I'm going to tell everyone a piece of my mind. Okay. Boya, well, tell me a bit. At least let me have an idea. As your friend, two heads are better than one. Please just shut up. See this food. You don't know if we put them out together and give her hot hot. It will sound, it will make more sense. Put them out together, you are who? Who is you always put him out? Look at this one. You don't know if you're thing. You will need me all. <laughs> oh, I'm, just, oh. I'm pitying for your life cycle. Shameless. Stupid. You don't even know your friend. You don't even know they're managing you. Manage me. Please, oh, I will my, cost you if I cost my, you to go far. My plans are special. I cannot tell you. You must act like a cook. Yes, ma'am. All the time. All right? What is it? Mother. What are you doing? Those two have been disrespecting me for far too long. Baby, just let them be. Very soon you're going to be the queen. Then you will have enough time to deal. Mother, now that my marriage has been fixed, I need to teach them a lesson. A lesson? A lesson, Mother. Go ahead and teach them. I'll be right back. Peacock. Why is she coming here? Maidens of Amanatol. Maidens. <sighs> okay, mm -hmm. What are you doing here? Well, I am not here for a chit chat. At least not with things of your caliber. You have made that clear a long time ago. Now, what do you want? In case you haven't heard. My marriage with the prince has been fixed. And soon enough, I will be the prince's wife. The future princess. <gasps> the future Lola. Okay, okay. Of Amanata okay. Kingdom. Okay. Mm. Too much of information. Yeah. So now, what can we do for you? Neil. Huh? Excuse me. Huh. Okay, but did I just hear you well? You said we should do what? Repetition is no virtue of the queen, Muka. But if you want me to, it comes at a cost. Hey. You will be kneeling before the queen. And that starts now. Now kneel and pay your respect. And if we don't? I hope I will not be the one to tell you what the king can do to those who flaunt his others. What's that word again? The king can be merciless. Now kneel. Kneel! Now that I have your attention, instead of you two being here gossiping, why don't you make yourselves useful? You will help clean the palace for the upcoming occasion. The king will appreciate it. I'm sorry, Bobby. I wasn't suggesting. I am telling you what you must do. And don't think I will not know. Uh -uh, don't think that. Because I have my eyes on the both of you. Now, run along. Run along. Come on, go, 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 go. Go, things, things. 
Pink, pink, go, uh, go. <laughs> oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Mother. 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 Oh, mother. I just need to teach them a lesson. You need to teach them a lesson. Mother, let's go. Mother, let's go. I want to watch you walk. Okay, mother. Just, Woo! Oh. oh, oh, oh. Am I the one that gave birth to this? Yes, this mother. This gorgeous lady. Yes, mother. This one in a million lady. Yes, that one, you know, that you wait to come around. Get away. Get out. Mother. Mother. Oh. Mother. Oh. Mother. Oh. Mother. Oh. Mother. Oh. 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 Shake it. 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 I can't believe her nerves. I just can't believe her nerves. Why must she do that? Why? To insult us. Hi. Luca, you have suffered. Sorry, you. I can't believe I had to kneel before that fool. How exactly did our lives turn out this way? How in the world were we turned from being friends to strangers and now servants? How? Because she wants us to feel inferior. She wants us to be like commoners. But that will never happen. She's not even the crown princess yet, and she's like this. Only God knows what will happen if she eventually becomes the lola of this kingdom. In Amanato or in Kenya, that will never happen. I can't stand that. That peacock has called the maidens into war. And she must feel the brunt of it. She will feel the brunt of that war. Ugegbima. You are indeed a fool for making us kneel before you. Your Highness, my elders. <laughs> this is good news. Congratulations. Thank you. Oh no, you have a very beautiful daughter. Um, you can say that again. Thank you. It is because she took after her mother. <laughs> <laughs> no. You and your wife surely have a beautiful daughter here. Yes. And she's so respectful. Thank yeah. you, sir. She will make a good queen. Obviously, she will make a very good queen. Mm, thank you, sir. Because she has been under the tutelage of the queen since she was a <laughs> child. No one can do it better than her. Right, mm. sir. Yeah, my wife actually oh, did a very wonderful job. Mm. <laughs> Thank you, Your Highness. Uh, excuse me, yes, let me get that. Definitely, definitely. Excuse me, let me get myself. Yes. My Prince, I, see, I, I am just doing my job. Your father, the king, asked me to fetch you. And I said I'm not moving. No, my prince, you must go with me. You don't have a choice today. As if I used to before. Listen, don't get me angry. I'm not moving an inch. See, Prince Obiechina and Obi Ayechi. Nya, Obi Ayadada. Nya, Obi Ayadada. Will you just shut up? Prince Obiechina. You, you have to go with me now. If you don't go with me, you, your father wouldn't be happy with you. And you will land me in a very big problem with your father. Son? Uh, greetings, your, your majesty. Greetings. What are you still doing here? You should come already. All right. Are, they, are you guys ready for me? Mm-hmm. Are, are you sure you're all right? I'm fine. Let's go. Okay, let's go. Come on. And I am actually expecting somebody to acknowledge the beauty mm. of oh, my wife. Oh, she's very pretty. Yes. Your Majesty, you know you like good things. Oh. Yes, exactly. I like good things, definitely. And that is where my kingdom is looking so wonderful. <laughs> Definitely. Oh, there we are. Uh, oh, 
Oh, oh, I just your life is Just look at them. Don't they look lovely together? They do. What are you My. Here, stop here. You knew him, don't you? You knew him before today, don't you? What are you talking about? I do not know what you're talking oh. about. You dare deny it? I, I saw the way, the way he looked at you. That look, that interactive look, is nothing to be ignored. Honestly, Ugiwe, I do not know what to Come! But stay here! Stay here! Ugiwe! Why are you doing this? Why am I doing this? Keep shut. Shut, shut your mouth. You know him. You know him. And you are denying it. What do you really take me for? Amara. I saw it. No. Do you think I am blind? Or I am dumb? I want to ask you, who the hell do you think you are? Huh? Okay, well, I'm sorry. I swear, I didn't know who he was at the time. It was a complete mistake. I swore my mother's girl. Don't turn the fire, you dare! You dare make excuses with the dead? You? You are worse than a devil! Now, come here. If you dare, look at my hand. If you dare, come an inch close. I will make you regret not following your mother to the grave. Idiot! Now, everyone should leave now. You step over, Mother of that water. One, one million. You stay here, my prince. Prince, Obi Echina. Nya, Obi Ayechina Techi. And the bill, I had an atada. Nya, Obia dada. She's here now. I gathered your name is Amara. Yes, my, my name is Amara. Marachi. Amaraj, can we talk? No, sir. We cannot talk. With all due respect, sir, can we just stop seeing? I do not want people seeing things the other way and gossiping that we have something together. And you know that's a lie. That's going to break my sister's heart the more. I do not want that. So please, sir. Are you done? Sir? Are you done? Maybe you have something more to say. I'm doing your majesty. Good. You don't want to talk to me fine and good, but I want to talk to you. Amarachi, I want us to talk about something special. And trust me, I won't waste much of your time. Sir, I do not have all the time in the world. I need to go home right now and make something to, to, to eat. You can do all that later. For now, we really need to talk. Are you going to force me to talk now? 
I'm not forcing you. I'm pleading. Are we going to talk here? Wait, what just happened back there? The prince wants to have some alone time with Amara. And why are you guys so surprised about it? Are you not surprised? She is a commoner, commoner, commoner. Almost a slave in Onowu's house. Well, I vote she's a better choice for the prince and that's foolish cousin of hers. Huh? Adego, you hate to give me. Mm, exactly. It is so evident. But you know this is not right. Which one? The prince developing affection for the poor orphan? He is taken. And any form of a relationship with him is tantamount to death, sister or not. And I vote death knowing who Ugebe is. Hmm. Unless the prince is cowed enough to let his father push him around. Wait, have you taken a good look at those two? They don't belong to each other. <laughs> and you think Amara does? The king would just have a head. Prince Obiechina cannot defy him. Well, people tend to do things when they are in love. Hmm. And why are we running into conclusions already? We don't even know what they must be talking about. <laughs> what else does a man and a woman talk about if not the usual Please ask how. Well, we don't know and I can't wait to find out the results. If you don't worry about big, my mother will be waiting for me at home. You know, just because you're the prince of Amanato doesn't give you the right to make demands of people, especially commoners like myself. I'm sorry about that, but you've been avoiding me. That's painful. You no longer come to Stone Quarry. I'm sorry. That was the least I could do. Avoiding me? Listen. All right, I'm sorry. I'm sorry I hid my identity from you the first time we met. But it was because of the where we met and most people are not comfortable with my identity i'm sorry of course because it doesn't make sense that the prince of amanato will want to kill himself i never wanted to kill myself you misinterpreted the situation um, my sincerest apologies sir I, I i think i need to be punished no i'm sorry i never knew she's your sister you owe me no apologies, sir. It doesn't matter. I do because I think I took advantage of your ignorance. Though I enjoyed every moment we spent. And I wish nothing could separate us, no matter what happened. I'm sorry, sir. I think it would be in everyone's interest that we stop engaging in any kind of closeness. Yes, um, it doesn't make sense. Amarachi, but we... I appreciate you see a less commoner like me, worthy enough to spend your time with. But drawing boundaries is very necessary, and we must. Thank you so much for the time. I have to go right now. My prince, if you ask me, she's right. Yes. Have you been here all this while? My prince, uh, you can't stop me from doing my, my own job. I think I'm doing my job. I'm sorry. You came with an intimidating aura. Who are you and what do you want? 
Those that kill and walk away will run the day they kill someone from the family of warriors. Have you thought about this? I don't understand. What are you talking about? The heart of man speaks something different from what the ear hears. The birds become food for the vulture when the man meets his end. Have you pondered on this? I am a prince, but that does not mean I must understand everything. Who are you and what do you want? You've been having a particular dream since you were a child. Now, it has become your current. What do you think of those dreams? Do you think it's something normal for a man your age? How come you know about the dreams? How come? Can you explain the meaning of those dreams? You need not to be a murderer for you to be haunted. This is your fate and you must face it. It is a river you must swim across. You either swim or die trying. Either way, there is no escape. I don't understand. The ways of the gods are broad and lack simplicity. There is no shortcut to internal peace and harmony. Sleep well, my fair friends. My friends, Ihe, Obiachina, Obiachina, Ihe. What is going on here? My, 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 my king, I'm confused too. I just met him like this. What happened to him? I don't just know. Wake him up. Hit him hard. Prince Obiachina. Yeah, your father is... What's the matter with you? Have you been drinking all this rubbish or what? I did not drink before going to bed last night. What happened? I should be asking you. How can you do this to yourself? A prince? Lie down stupid on the floor? Are you out of your senses? This is not an imagination. I, 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 saw, I saw a scary looking woman with an intimidating aura, yes. She came and uh, she said something I can't remember, but she's the reason I passed out. She did something to me. Talking around nonsense. Freshen up your bad breath and meet me downstairs. What happened? You just scared me with what you just narrated now. I'm sure what I said, she, oh, she appeared here. Uh, who, who is she? I don't know, but she's spiritual. It's either she's a goddess or a... A goddess? Of... She looks like something from the Marine Kingdom, I don't know. 